Ah, uh, the city of Darwin is rich in Australian history. It's come a long way since World War II. Anyways, it's a beautiful city, full of history. Shantytown, military base, and now the capital of Northern Territory. We pulled into a nice little caravan park 20 minutes outside of Darwin. A little tight here, but uh, we have access to all the amenities. We scored ourselves a job picking mangoes or working on the mango farm, doing something. Starts in two weeks. So what do we do? We celebrate. Hi. I'm manning the barbecue tonight. Womaning. Womaning, that is right. It's so weird. Cooking in the van used to be very comfortable. Now it's really humid, so now you don't want to cook in there. The only thing that I'm missing and that I feel like I really need is my Madarenka Springs. Oh, we're so nice and warm. I need to find some more springs up this way. No major dramas heading up this way. Uh, the rover did its job and did it well. The caravan made it here in one piece. Rattled a few things down the Unidata track, but uh, ever since then we've been on Bitumen. If this rover could only talk, the stories it could tell about the weather it's been in recently. Snow up in Cradle Mountain, slipping and sliding all over the place. And now, palm trees, humidity and heat. We're in Darwin. We just popped over to the visitor center where um, there's no free parking during the day when everything's open. So we had to pay a buck to be able to go into the visitor center and get information on things that we want to do, which I find hilarious. I don't know why, but I think that's kind of ridiculous. The best part is that it only takes change. Um, so we actually had to go into the visitor center so we could come back out to pay for parking to visit the visitor center. Today, something that you won't see on camera, but I will tell you about, and if you've been following us on Facebook, you already know about. I did a temporary fill-in shift at a ice cream manufacturer's spot. So I got to help package ice cream, and they sent me home with some ice cream, which was a bonus, because Brad was pretty excited for all the ice cream that we've now got. I swear we have like five or six liters of ice cream. It's fantastic. So what does Agnes do after a hard day working in the ice cream factory? Well, I ate about like two massive ice cream cones worth of ice cream. And now it's time to wash that ice cream down with a pint. We are at Six Tanks Brewing Company. These are two of their beers. Brad went for the Summer Ale and I went for the Viking IPA because it's stronger. How strong is the Viking Ale? Viking strong. Did you win? Dare to take the death pot challenge, win, and your beer is on us. I'll take the death pot challenge. Is that a good idea? Uh, let's just stick to the fish and chips today. Okay. And where are you going for fish and chips? We're going to fry Nemo. We're not going to find Nemo, we're going to fry Nemo instead. That's right. Say fish and chips, Brad. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. We are looking for Frying Nemo. Frying Nemo, please. The Frying Nemo fish and chips may not be open yet when you arrive. But I'm hungry! No! Raise your hand if you are at Frying Nemo's. I really don't want to eat a clownfish. I do. You scared me with that, Brad! He scared me so much saying he wanted to eat a clownfish that I dropped the phone. Has nothing to do with the beer that I've just drunk. Sure, keep telling yourself that, Drunko. <laughs> uh oh. Here it comes. The award winning fish and chips. Darwin. This is Agnes's Jew fish. It's been given high praise by a lot of people. Here. So that's for Agnes. This is my mackerel. 
Oh, you decided to go with macaroni and. So, I'm excited, and they do a whole bunch of different things with french fries here, or just fries or chips, whatever you want to call it. These are the best chips. Delicious. 